Welcome back. I think we all realize the role that the eyes play in our daily lives. Thus, it's important to do the things we need to do to protect the eyes and respond to any problems that may arise. We talked with the team at Retina Associates of Kentucky and their patient, Melinda McMurray, about what you need to do and the tools that help you keep a clear focus. At Retina Associates of Kentucky, the eyes clearly have it. This office is abuzz with activity of the patients that need expertise and the skills of retina specialists. It is quickly apparent that this is much more than the corner glasses shop. The eyes are often referred to as the window to the soul, but they are also our window to the world and may in fact be a window to much more of what's going on inside our body. I talked with Dr. Thomas Stone about the eyes and what he sees as the goals, mistakes, and some of the other things that can be diagnosed or noted in the eyes. You know, just like anything else in medicine, if you catch something early and treat it, a lot of times we can preserve the function. In other words, we can keep people seeing. And, and, and the other thing is we can uh, sometimes reverse damage that occurs. Sometimes if we catch things too late, there's nothing we can do. So that's one reason. The other is, you know, the sight is so critical to everything we do. A third of our brain is dedicated towards seeing. So you know how important that is. It's, uh, most of our brain is, is, is working on what you're seeing. And just think about all the things we can and can't do depending on whether or not we have vision. Writing, driving, remaining independent is a big deal. Um, you can be independent when you can't see very well, but it's a whole lot easier when you can. You know, a lot of people uh, don't see an eye doctor because they think they can see okay. So one thing that really doesn't get to me, but is very common, is a lot of people need glasses and they never know it. This can even happen in high school athletes, um, people who you think would really need to use their eyes well in order to function well. Um, but a lot of people need glasses and, and never get those glasses. The other thing is not getting their eyes checked from time to time. I get people who come in and haven't seen an eye doctor for 20 or 30 years. There are conditions that need to be assessed or at least looked at or checked uh, every few years just to make sure everything's going okay. Things like glaucoma fall into that category. He also notes that regular eye exams are key to your long-term ocular health. You know, getting regular eye exams is, is, is a good idea. You know, I guess the way I think about it is getting a general medical health checkup is a good idea. You know, up until the age of 40, you know, most people only need them every five years or so, um, which sounds like infrequently, but like I said, people come in, you know, oh, gee, I haven't seen an eye doctor in 20 or 30 years. Um, you know, we have specific guidelines for kids that they should be checked, at least screened for eye conditions up until they hit kindergarten. And then between the ages of, you know, five and 40, especially when kids are in high school is when the time they might need glasses and they might have trouble seeing the board. And then after 40, about every five years or so, and then once you hit about 55 or 60, probably every couple of years. Regular eye exams are important, but injuries and symptoms can happen. Dr. Stone highlights some of the times when you need to seek immediate attention. Certainly uh, anything where one eye or both eyes lose vision, where it's just not just a little blurry, but a sustained loss of vision, uh, whether it's painful or painless, uh, that requires immediate attention. Certainly significant injury to the eye. And that's one thing that we see fairly often. People who have healthy eyes do take them for granted. And there's, we, we see people every day who are mowing their yard or doing yard work and they get something in their eye and, and, and you can lose vision permanently from that. So good safety glasses for either work in your yard or work in your garage or hammering nails is critical for preserving vision. One such case in which a patient developed symptoms and got it checked out was Melinda McMurray. She's in the office at Retina Associates to follow up with Dr. John Kitchens, who has been part of a team taking care of Ms. McMurray. He fills us in on her history. Melinda has had uh, inflammation in the back of her eyes that's, uh, that's resulted in swelling in the area um, in the very back of the eye, the macula, which is a part of the retina that's responsible for her center vision. And we've been treating this with steroids, which is the best way to take care of this swelling when it's due to inflammation. And, uh, and unfortunately, she developed one of the, the side effects related to the steroid treatments, which is high pressure in the eyes and, and cataracts in the eyes. Treatments aren't always smooth sailing. We like to think that if we have a problem, we can take a pill or treatment that will immediately fix it. In Ms. McMurray's case, the problems have been complex with treatments, complications, and ongoing care that has required a team approach to her care. I think it's important to be aware that we have great treatments for a variety of different eye conditions, especially even rare conditions like Melinda's uh, rare inflammation and swelling, but that sometimes those treatments have uh, potential side effects. The important thing was that Melinda recognized that something was wrong early and took the steps to get the care she needed. Initially it was blurred vision, I, I, well it's a couple of things, it was blurred vision and sort of lightning like sparks in my eyes. We'd just come home from vacation, I, it was night and I thought there was lightning and it just turned out it was, it was actually uh, 
the situation where the vitreous humor contracts and it pulls on the retina, and in this case it caused inflammation, and that inflammation led to a membrane forming on the back of my eye, and that caused puckering of the eye, and it caused blurred vision. So uh, Dr. Kitchens performed surgery on that eye, and the, it helped a, a, a lot, but then I got a cataract and had to have that removed. One of the tools that helps manage her case is called OCT. Dr. Kitchens tells us what that means and how that has changed the diagnosis, monitoring, and management of her condition. So this is a really unique um, tool that we have in, in retina and in ophthalmology called an OCT. It stands for Optical Coherence Tomography, and it basically creates a laser-generated cross-section through the retina. And uh, this technique was developed back in the late 90s, early 2000s. We were the first practice in, in Kentucky to actually have OCT. Um, and the first to have each iteration of the newer models. And what we're able to do in Melinda's case here is, uh, is show the image from her left eye that we took back in January where we can see just a little bit of swelling that's present. At that time, her vision was really good, and we decided that this much swelling didn't warrant any kind of aggressive treatment. We were going to keep her on the eye drops. When she switched her eye drops to a different type, uh, we can see now that today's visit we have much more swelling present than what we did previously. But you could diagnose this with very, very careful examination of the retina, usually putting a contact lens on the person's eye to be able to look in and see with high, high degree of detail. So you can make the diagnosis. The problem is, is that you would never be able to compare how well they were doing from one visit to the next because there was just no way to quantify it. And so that's what this is really revolutionized, is not only making the diagnosis, but also determining the response to therapy. The Retina Associates of Kentucky are working hard to help Ms. McMurray protect her vision and maintain a high quality of life. Just like Melinda, you need to heed the warning of your eyes if they arise. But more importantly, get those annual checkups. So hopefully it's clear that you need to make sure that your eyes have the utmost importance and focus when it comes to your daily health. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton and this is Stanton MD. Melinda has a potentially long road ahead with ongoing care and management, but she has the team assembled to tackle her problem. We'll be back with Retina Associates next month as we talk with a man that is trying to get his vision back after an unfortunate accident. We'll talk with him and follow him through the operating room and see if he can get back some of the vision that he has lost. Coming up, we talk with the director of the CDC about opioid abuse and the steps they are taking to help protect the lives of Americans. That's next on Stanton D.